Last week I made a first person shooter and today my mission is to bring it on Steam. There's just a small problem here. I have no clue how to do that. So first I filled all the forms to become a Steam partner. That wasn't the hard part. I entered like every information that I have about myself and now they want me to wait two to seven days. Guys, 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 look at that. The text information for your organization has been verified. That means we can continue now. Continue. Please wait. You are now a Steamworks partner. Continue to the homepage to learn more about the next steps available. It's finally done. I am a Steam partner. Now, I just have to upload my build and... Wait, where can I upload this thing? Oh. I have to use the Steam Pipe SDK whatever thing. Yeah, cool. So I basically spent the entire day on figuring this out. Hey, um, it's dark outside. That means a lot of time went by. But I can show you something. Look at this. World of Unlit. And now I can, I can press play and <gasps> there's actually a game. And it's even my game! In case you don't care about how it works, you can just skip this part. But I would feel bad if I wouldn't tell you how it works. So I will try to make it in 20 seconds. Download the Steamworks SDK. I pick it and navigate to scripts. Open this file and paste in your app ID. Create a depot and paste the depot ID here. Don't forget to publish your changes on Steam. Edit this file and paste in your username and password. Save the file. Now you want to put your game files into the content folder. Double click the file. Go to your builds and set the new build live. Also make sure you have a launch option set up like this and that you include your depot in all the packages. That's it with the tutorial. I hope it helped someone. You might think that we're done here. I mean, I can download the game and play it, which is basically what I wanted for now. But in reality, there are still three things missing. I have to make a build for Mac as well. And at this point, I wasn't really aware of how this entire upload to Steam thing works. So this is still a big thing to achieve. Second thing is that I'm currently the only one who has access to the game, but I want other people to be able to test the game. So I have to request release override keys from Steam. And what was the third thing? There was a third thing. I'm sure there was a third thing. Anyways, for the Mac build I had some struggle because even the way you get your game files builded by Unity is completely different with Mac builds. But eventually I figured it out. And I also set up a system that allows me to quickly update the game on Steam using two copies of the SDK. Now I can update the game within minutes and all of the testers will be able to download this update. Speaking of testers, I also requested 15 release override keys. Everyone who has such a key can play the game even though there isn't even a shop page yet. So in case you want to help me testing this game, text me on Discord or something. What was the third thing? The next episode will probably be about making a tutorial level, but without making a tutorial level. Because currently no one who tested the game really knows how to use the core mechanics of the game. Yeah, that's a problem. So before I can test anything else, I need to make sure players have some idea of what they're doing. See you in the next episode. Bye.